Welcome to the Woman Angler and Adventurer Podcast, inspiring real women with a passion for fishing and the outdoors to go get their adventure on. Now, here's your host, Angie Scott and Barb Carey. Welcome to another 5-Minute Friday. My name is Barb Carey and I have some great tips for you this week on vertical jigging. Wisconsin winter just disappeared. All of a sudden it's spring. We're already out in the rivers fishing. One of the most common ways and most fun way to fish is to vertical jig. A lot of times the inland lakes are closed now, but the rivers are open in Minnesota. You got the Mississippi. Um, I think they're fishing in the Missouri River, Lake Huron, a lot of the tributaries that run out of the Great Lakes, the season is open and now's when you go vertical jigging for big walleye. I want to give you some tips. One of the biggest tips is have a rod you're going to feel the bite. What I want to do is I am going to be, they call it vertical jigging for a reason. Your line is up and down here and I'm taking this jig and I'm just gently having it hit bottom to make sure that I'm near the bottom. I want to feel that tap of the bottom once in a while as my boat is drifting downriver in current. So I want to have a really uh, sensitive rod that's delivering me the information on what that jig is doing. A rod that's specifically made for that is the St. Croix Icon. It's a very affordable rod. I like a medium light action with an extra fast action tip. I like use a braided line. This I have braided line on with a fluorocarbon leader. So some of the tricks are using the right weight of jig. So picture this boat floating down a river. I am floating, the, the current is pushing me away. And you want your line on the side of the boat that is a, the, the, the current is pushing the boat away because if I get, you get snags when you're doing this. So if I got a snag and my boat was going this way downstream, that would put all sorts of torque on my line. My line would be caught under the boat. It's much harder to clear a snag and you can get into trouble really quick. So I want that line going away from me. If I got hung up, I can kind of one of the tricks is to, you know, you don't want to bend the rod, you don't want to high stick it. I give it a quick snap right away. If I can't get it back and I need to break that line, one of the tricks is, is to hold this spool still. Don't use your hand right here and hold it. That line will get tighter and tighter and then it'll break. So what I usually do is I keep a couple rods up here with, you know, you're going to lose jigs when you're vertical jigging. So I have a second rod ready to go. So I want this line vertical. If I'm pulling this jig down the river and it's way there and that's not vertical, that's when it gets hung up. That's when you're not gonna feel the bite. We were just out yesterday. That line had to be vertical or you weren't gonna get any fish. So when I set my line down here, I'm gonna kinda have it start under the boat so I'm not, I'm not going to start behind myself already. I'm going to start the way the current's going. And then the boat is pushing, or the current is pushing the boat. Next thing you know, I'm vertical and I can try to hold this. If I can't hold it and I can't feel the bottom, I got to go up to a heavier jig. So right here we have some jig sizes. This one is a 3 8 ounce. This one is, no, this one's a 5 8 This one's a 3 8 this one is a quarter and this is the clam drop tungsten jig that's also a quarter and see the difference this is gonna have less resistance in the water because it's smaller around but it's just as heavy as this bigger one i love these jigs with that tungsten you can feel every little thing that you're feeling on the bottom and it doesn't poison eagles and it's not as bad for the environment as lead is so keep that in mind, I love those jigs. You wanna use the kind of jig where you're able to keep your line vertical. If the current is fast, you might have to go up to a 5 8 If it's not as fast, go down. You want the smallest you can, as long as you can stay, as long as you can stay vertical. 
have your second rod ready to go and uh, you can have you know some spare jigs tied up and just have to hook them onto a swivel or something keep a smaller reel so it's lightweight so it's your hand doesn't get fatigued and if you haven't tried it get out there and try it vertical jigging for fish is so fun for the next two months that's going to be the bite to go after so good luck to you guys